Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video we're going to start by going to get all the parts out of this car here. And we're going to take a look at all the things that we have for this car. This is going to be the beginning of the stock car build for Dragon Blanchard's race car. I know we did an unboxing on this before, but I didn't take everything out of the package because I was going to try to sell this kit, which I did do. Um, but nobody was interested in buying it, so we went ahead and took it back off from the market. And now we have, we're going to build the kit. So, after we did kind of like the modified unboxing, I found the other axle. I put it in here. So what I'm going to probably do is take both axles and just put them up in here for now until we're ready to use them. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to scuff down the tires of the car. I'm going to try to groove them out a little bit and uh, see if we can try to, try to make these more like a, a dirt looking uh, tire. If I can't groove them, there are short tracks that are uh, paved, so it'll just be a pavement car. Uh, we'll see what we can do with it. So, go ahead and open up the plastic, uh, the wrapper. Take a look, see what we got for parts. I did realize. Uh, Looking at this car the other day, that it did not come with a set of directions. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. So we got the undercarriage of the car here. So the undercarriage of the car does have, because the hood doesn't open, it's got the bottom of the engine and the, uh, the exhaust and the rear end all molded into the bottom of the car. So we'll paint the bottom of the car and then detail that out. Interior and uh, it's two arms, Dragon Blanchard's arms. Wow. Good stuff. Yeah. We got two front arms. I think this is the front end that works on the car. I wonder why that didn't line up. Up much better. That'll be the front end of the wheels. So we got three front ends. Got three nose clips. I don't understand that one. It's interchangeable. Maybe, maybe Dragon Blanchard hits a lot of stuff. See the headlights. Uh, we'll get it figured out. Got your roll bar halves. We are going to add a little bit to that roll cage because that's pretty plain. And uh, it's going to need a little bit of help. 
Taylor has a Dragon Blanchard here. So I don't, I think typically I would glue, glue things together and then paint. I think as long as we leave it so that So we can get that done. I think that'll work just fine. Uh, I think I'll probably end up painting the rims the same color as the car. I really like those steel rims. I wish NASCAR still ran the steel rims, but I wish NASCAR still was NASCAR. W. I ordered uh, primer, the color, and uh, and uh, clear coat. It's MCW lacquer. So did a little bit of research on it. And I like the lacquers because you don't have to mix them. They're already thinned down. They're already pre-mixed or whatever the ratios you need to just pour them in the airbrush and send it. Uh, NCW finishes. Clear gloss lacquer. And there's our clear. Light gray primer. Alright, so I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll lean forward and that. See how kind of got that light spot right there? It just came into camera. So this stuff's going to need to be shook up or uh, mixed. going to be the color of it. This Dragon Blanchard's car is going to be a medium blue. That's a GM color. And, uh, 7004. Now we're also starting the Subaru Brat. Probably switch between the two of them. What I might do is I might do kind of like the opener to this video, get the things put together how I want them, <clears throat> and then hold off, get the brat underway because. sure that I have my mixer for one thing and I'm curious to know what everybody thinks about the front ends. So here's the front end with the headlights showing. Mark that front end number one. Here's the front end of the headlights. You got kind of like a, almost a representation of like metal covers. That's not going on good, but we 
get it figured out if we need to. And then number two. guys leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Tell me which one you like. We'll run with that. So, vote for one. You can vote for two. Or, you can vote for three. Okay, so we're back. So what I'm going to do is drift it over a little bit. So I'm going to build the roll cage itself separately. And then that's going to sit down in the car like this. Uh, that'll be painted primer. Most race cars are. The reason for that is if they wreck, uh, they're usually like a, a flat primer gray or a white if they wreck and um, there's any cracking in the tubing or the gussets that shows you can see the the black uh, line where the cracking is to uh, that helps the drivers to and the race teams to be able to repair the car and be safer so And this project will go on hold for a little bit. We'll work on the other car um, because what I want to do is get you guys' input on the front ends and uh, then we'll build this car and we get a little flash off there. This car is going to be built um, with a storyline. This, this build here is just preparation. So once the car is prepped, painted, um, and we're ready to do more, more assembly, um, we will begin to tell the story. So we're trying to get the roll cage put together here. I'm going to give this car an extra low oil pan so we can cut the air from out from underneath that. I'm going to give it 30, 40 more horsepower. If you guys are into NASCAR, you know what movie that came from.
give it a fuel line and hold an extra gallon of gas. And get a prime painted and weighed and I'll be ready to run. Okay, so what I've done is I've taped in the roll bar. I don't want it glued in. And we're going to add in add just a little dab of glue on each end of the first bar. So I'm going to put this one in the rear. I think it's the rear bar. Let that sit. Uh, I'll let the roll bar sit in there and be held up. We'll put a little bit of glue on the front bar. Get this in there. Okay, good. Dragon's never really been cooperative. Apparently his car isn't either. Set this off in there. Set this over here. Let's see what else we'll do. Let the steering wheel in. That's about all we're going to do for the interior for tonight. After we're done with this, we'll let that all sit up overnight. Then we'll probably give it a spray tomorrow or the next day. It's supposed to be 80 next week. Maybe we'll give it a spray then too. Well, I guess that is what it is. I was gonna, I'll have to just paint the, the steering wheel itself black after we spray the interior gray. I'll make the seat silver. Comes with seat belts. Alright, in it. I always get that off camera, I don't know why. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Well, anyway. So, we got... Typically, I would sand that down, but it kind of feels like a looks like it could represent as like a seam to the fabric.
set for a second. I don't think we can put the arms on until we get Dragon sitting in the seat. Because you gotta kinda have the arms in the right area to where like the steering wheel would be. So we'll hold off on that for now. pretty clean. I think we'll scuff the car with like 2,000. And it's got a swirl right there. And a, and a swirl on this side too where it's injected. I don't know if you can see it or not. Alright, so that'll close out this video. Uh, you guys now Know the color of the dragon's car is going to be. It's got a, it's got a mixing bubble or a bead in it. I didn't know that. Huh? Well, there's a better look at it. Where's this one? Is it? Well, we'll buy a mixer anyway. Um, I'm gonna close this uh, video out. We're going to scuff down this car, get this ready for paint, we'll prime it. we got the roll cage firming up over there. we got a dragon here that's uh, he's curing. Uh, it's probably going to take me forever to cut the, cut the, the dirt tread in these tires. So I'm not doing that on camera. And uh, I'll probably glue, there's a round spot in the bottom of the seat, probably glue that to a piece of tree and uh, get that ready for paint. Somebody tell me what you think about the front ends, which one uh, you think we ought to use. Appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it'd be nice if you did. Uh, until we see each other again, everybody out there be safe and everybody be blessed.